Hi everyone, welcome. I'm out here in my yard and what you see in front of us is a, a, a compost barrel. It's really just a trash pail, but it's what I do all my composting in, all my kitchen scraps, all my um, waste out of my garden, stuff like that. It all gets placed into here. Um, it goes all year round. It's out here in the winter, it's out here in the summer. Usually it does really well in the summer because of the um, black soldier fly larvae that inhabit the bin during the summer. In the winter it breaks down still slowly, but at that point it's just um, other creatures in the bin without the help of the black soldier flies. And then um, here, this is the bin that we're here to work on today. This is my outdoor worm bag. And it's got a uh, piece of plywood covering the top that we placed on here 12 days ago when we last checked in. It's because we saw signs of um, some sort of invasion some sort of creature had been coming in here and digging around so we uh we figured with that piece of plywood the the bin would be protected and hopefully not get invaded so 12 days ago we put stuff in here like trying to remember they rhymed okay it was tomatoes and potatoes <laughs> say that 10 times fast that's what we may or may not find some leftovers of when we get into here to feed and uh to feed i've just got a few things over here on the side I'll put the glove on in the meantime while we're checking this stuff out here. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Obviously, I'm here to feed, so these are the things that they're getting today. It's a pretty good assortment of different um, stuff. Cucumbers, scallions, figs. It's, um, it's in a tray that was, you know, had some lettuce in it that was going bad, so the, the tray became sort of my portion plan for today. And it's a pretty good-sized portion if you look at it. A little bit more than I'll usually feed in here. But after uh, 12 days, I would have to imagine that they're probably getting pretty hungry. And then all I've got in here is some pulverized eggshell, which is what I use as the grit in my worm bins sometimes. So let's, uh, let's get to feeding these little guys. You know, the thing is a little bit more damp than I thought it would be. But then again, it makes sense because it was underneath a piece of plywood is some sort of a larva a lot of times I give certain types of larva a pass in my worm bins if it's the type that I know is going to help in the composting process but if it's just some sort of pest or who knows what I'm usually going to extract it and get it out and what we see here on top is a nice assortment of fresh leaves that we scattered on here last time we were in here pretty good thick layer of it for that matter Tomatoes had a little bit of juice in them. There were just some stuff that were um, out of my garden. Tomatoes from my garden that were probably never going to ripen, so I figured I'd make um, worm food out of them. And a whole bunch of slices of potato, which really have not gone very far, if I do say so. Actually, it's weird because there, there does seem to be a chunk of it missing over here, and I could see a worm even hanging out on this piece. So it does seem like they're working their way into it, but maybe it needs time for um, certain other types of breakdown to occur or at least get started so that the worms can come up and suck up that softer portion of it once it does soften up so yeah some of these pieces actually look like they're pretty well underway and after 12 days I didn't really know what to expect as far as these chunks of potato are concerned they are raw they never got cooked so I don't have the benefit of having been cooked it's just so interesting how the it looks like it was nibbled away at somehow no is it my imagination would worms do this I guess they would right if there was only one section of it somewhere that was starting into the deterioration process so they would only be able to eat the stuff that's already partially rotting or decomposing so the stuff seems to be doing quite nicely and there's a whole, you know, whole lot of it left. I mean, you would have to say that they must have consumed about 5 or 10% of it tops. Almost makes you wonder if it's necessary to put food in, especially <laughs> in the amounts that I was planning on putting it in here. But you know what? The stuff that I'm giving them now, all frozen, lettuce, cucumber, all liquid, all moisture, all stuff that's going to um, become food for them instantly basically they'll be able to come along and you know slurp up the juices of the cucumbers and eat up the fleshy parts of it as it thaws out and 
same with the lettuce everything's going to become like a really fast food for them once they uh once they get that stuff but you know what i really want to probe around in here a little bit before we get down to plopping in the food so let's just keep sort of opening this hole a little bit more i keep looking back at the um statistics on my various bins and this bin, I believe, has had seven feedings up until this time. So this would be like feeding number eight. I guess as we start to go down deeper, we start to get into stuff that's already just piles of rich finished castings. And that's where you're going to find probably the food that was fed to this container weeks and weeks ago, months ago, who knows. And that's all the stuff that's really at that broken down stage where the worms can really nibble away at it. It's not surprising that that's where the worms are and that they have like a minimal interest actually in the newest the newest foods that have been added most recently. So what's the other stat? The, uh, the, uh, stat, the other stat that I think is interesting is when we populate a bin and I show the worms that I'm putting into each container, asking the viewers to provide me with estimates of how many worms they think we're hauling over at any given time. And I think to populate this bin we did two separate hauls of worms out of the um out of the compost barrel that's where i'll get i get all my worms for running these outdoor worm bag systems and i never put any worms in there either so these all have you know entered these systems voluntarily on their own naturally this bag here was populated with worms by me but the the worms originally populated the compost barrel all on their own without any help from me <laughs> which was kind of cool so I'm thinking, as long as we're already kind of loosening stuff really deep down and getting it all pretty um, loose, like little handfuls of stuff, why don't we move it all up? Move all of it up so I can really sink today's feeding down deep. I want to, uh, I want to lay in a whole bunch of bedding for it too. A lot of my freshly um, Something I just started really doing, you know, my, I guess it's maybe about two weeks old now at this point, a couple weeks old, this pre-aged bedding that I've been making. So that's what we saw over here in this container over here. It's just, you know, paper and cardboard and stuff like that. Stuff that's been nice and damp and just sitting around for some time now. Sort of breaking in and just waiting to be used as bedding instead of it just being some fresh newly uh shredded paper or whatever the case may be hopefully by having been sitting around and soaking for all that time it's going to make this stuff nice and soft and and um really easy for the worms to take advantage of so we've definitely created a nice size hole in here i'm just wondering if it's big enough for all this food <laughs> we're giving them i don't know um let me begin here by grabbing my little box of pre-made bedding material so you'll see it's just uh just shredded paper and cardboard and leaves and there was also some um vermicompost placed in here too to sort of inoculate the material too a bit so this bin definitely has good amounts of bedding in it already and everywhere we look we could see pretty good amounts of bedding but as i like to say sometimes never pass up an opportunity to add even more bedding if you can <laughs> especially stuff like this i think this stuff is going to work so much better than um the stuff i've been using in the past which has been pretty much um you know free of any sort of bacteria or microbes or anything always just sort of fresh bedding basically yeah, that's pretty cool there's uh, other worm channels where you see the food come out like this out of a plastic tray just in a big chunk <laughs> and i thought to myself man that would be fun to do that way so here's my shot at it so like i said this was the the really nasty lettuce at the bottom of the the tray of the box the plastic box that we're in and then i unloaded um some of these cucumbers that you could see were starting to get moldy <laughs> so there's a bunch of those and there was another larger size cucumber that was also getting moldy I mean in all honesty this side got moldy and this side was probably still okay but I figured let's not take any chances let's just 
turned it into worm food. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. So I'm sure that this stuff is not going to last. I mean, maybe we'll see some leftovers of the onions because I think onions kind of resist the breakdown process a little bit. Um, the lettuce, the cukes, stuff's all going to go in no time. And all that moisture is going to help things down here too, all, helping all the microscopic life forms really kick into high gear. Because all that potato was um, pretty dry stuff. If not for the tomatoes that I included with the potatoes, there'd been, there would have been virtually no moisture. So good thing for the, potato, the tomatoes. And I think I did spot a, one or two of them here or there as we were. Here's one. I don't even know if I managed to squirt that one apart, but I did squash them all last time like that so that they will all be kind of infiltrated or you know broken open so they can be infiltrated by the worms and what I have here is eggshell pulverized eggshell I'm trying not to um, inhale any of this dust because um, it's very very coarse material and not to be breathed in so just be careful if you're handling this stuff especially um, indoors I'm outdoors so I've got a good breeze blowing kind of clearing the stuff away from me but um, it could have just as easily pushed the stuff right into my face which would not have been a very good thing so I try to like kind of hold my breath a little bit but I was also trying to talk at the same time so that's not very easy <laughs> trying to uh, complete a sentence without taking a breath of air so now we're just bringing all this stuff back in a lot of this um, nice leafy material that was all over the top surface is now partially blended in with the bedding increasing the overall bedding um, usable bedding at least in the system considerably besides all that nice bedding we laid down under the food now we've got um, a whole bunch of this nice bedding that was really just sort of top cover up until now up over the past 12 days since we poured it on there now it's actually going to um ooh, what was that piece of <laughs> corn cob it was just one of the corn cob bits that i have in my bin sometimes but I crushed it and a bunch of worms came falling out of it. But um, yeah, that's where we stand now with my outdoor worm bag. Things are looking really nice in here. I, um, I hope they like my homemade bedding that I just added. And I really hope that they like this nice, big, huge portion of food they got today because I usually don't feed this generously. It's a little bit of an oddball scenario for me to pile in this much food. But um, hey, I figured what the heck, let's give it a try. And it was fun. <laughs> You know the worms are going to go bananas for that. Maybe we should check in here sooner rather than later just to see what kind of a turnout that food draws down here in the outdoor worm bag because I got a feeling it's going to be a major worm party down in there within a day or two. I don't know. Usually I just set up my bin with the food that it needs to keep going and I kind of forget about it. Here too I almost forgot about this bin. I'm glad I remembered that 12 days had already passed since I had last... Uh, fed this thing because it was it was due i think it was ready even though there was tons of potatoes in here and it is starting to break down they're able to eat it already it did seem to me like um to go hand in hand with that giving them some fresh stuff that they could jump right into right away is probably a good idea all right everyone that's it for today hopefully you enjoyed the video if you did as always please remember to leave me a thumbs up that's always really appreciated and if you haven't done so already please also consider subscribing to the channel too that's really appreciated as well all right everyone have a great day bye now